Hello and welcome to another one of my Pipedrive training videos. Today I'm going to be talking all about email within Pipedrive, how you can send email directly to a contact using the bulk email features, automation within Pipedrive and using third party tools like MailChimp and Zapier. So that's what I'm talking about in this video. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, to get updates about new videos about Pipedrive, Asana, Zapier and other tools, uh, productivity tools. And uh, finally, if you do want to learn more about Pipedrive, if you want help with setup, training, and automation, have a look in the details below this video for um, details of how to get in touch with me about my consulting services. So let's get into this video. And the first method of sending an email that I want to show you is just sending an email natively within Pipedrive from a deal page, which is probably the most likely place you're going to be in Pipedrive. Now, obviously, for this to work, by the way, you do need to first have connected your email. So we do that here in settings on the email integration tab. You will need to be on the advanced plan or higher. So if you're on Essential right now, unfortunately, the only way to get email into Pipedrive is to use that BCC feature. If you want to be able to send email directly from within Pipedrive, you do need to be on advanced or higher. So you can see here I've connected an email address. It's very straightforward to do that. If you haven't connected it, you'll see the option to do so here. You can connect with most providers like Gmail. If you have an Outlook uh, or a Microsoft 365 account, you can connect those, those kinds of accounts. And you can customize your settings on this page. It's all pretty self-explanatory. Once I've done that, I can go to a deal. And so let's click on um, Richard Branson. And I can now click on the email tab and I can compose and send an email directly from here. And this is going to be completely in sync with my inbox. So in this case, I've got my Google Mail account connect connected. If I send an email from here, it's going to actually show as a sent item in Gmail as well, which is great. Now you can see because this contact has an email down here, that's actually been pulled in up here as the person I'm emailing. Obviously, I don't have to email this person. I can remove that. I can email whoever I want. I can put in an address of Richard's personal assistant or whoever I need to, and I can expand these fields to show different CC and BCC options. One of the great benefits of using the email feature within Pipedrive is we've got templates in here. So I've got, for example, actually, let's put some information in here first. Let's do booking date. I'm just going to say that's tomorrow. And let's say booking time is 830. So with these custom fields filled, what I could do is choose this template, uh, booking confirmation, and you see it's going to automatically pull in um, these fields from my deal here. And actually, I didn't put a recipient up here, but if I had my recipient, it would actually pull in Richard's name. Uh, so let me let me actually do that quickly now. Let's go send an email again. Let's discard that. So let's send my email. Let's choose the template again. Richard, Richard, boom. So there we go. It's filled in the template and it's even pulled in custom fields from my deal. So you can manage your templates from here. For example, if I were to create a new one, let's add a new template. I literally just write my email as I normally would. So I could say, hi. And then over here is where I can choose fields that I can dynamically insert into my deal. So I want to put in someone's first name. And then I could put in any other fields that I have about my deal. So here's all deal information, like the owner of the deal. I can put in the company name if I want. Uh, budget I could put in. All this information I can use to customize and make my email seem more personal. So I can set up my template here, and I can choose to share this with my team as well. So we can all use a common set of email templates, which is great for sales emails, great for those follow-up emails once you've found that perfect script. So that's setting up my template, and that's really the first way that we can deal with email here in Pipedrive is just sending an email directly to a person on this deal page. Now, sometimes you want to send an email to multiple people, uh, and I don't just mean like in the to and the CC field, but separate emails to different different people. And we can do that from the contacts page. So if I go to my contacts, here's all the contacts in my account. I can create a filter up here and search for certain types of contact and create just the perfect list that I want. And when I have them, I can I can check this these boxes here to select who exactly do I want to um, email. Now I can click this button to send a group email. And then just like I did before, I can pick a template, new inquiry, and it's going to automatically fill in the person's name and it's going to send a copy of this email to each person in my recipient list. And when I'm ready, I can just click send. 
And that's a second way that we can send email directly here in Pipedrive is by using the bulk email feature. Now the limit on this is you can only send emails to up to 100 people. So it's great for sort of um, smaller lists where you want to send an update obviously to a small number of people. If you're wanting to do a big marketing email like a more of a newsletter to thousands of people, that's when you're going to need to use some kind of third party provider like MailChimp, which I'll come back to. So that's the second way we can send email uh, using the bulk email feature. Third option I want to look at is using automation. So if I go to my automation tools, and again, this will require the advanced plan or higher. Uh, here's an example here of I've created a new deal. I want to send an email. I'm going to just edit that now, and I'm going to talk you through how that automation works. So this automation, first thing I've done is I've got my trigger event here, which is when a deal is created. That's just the event that Pipedrive is kind of waiting to have happen. I actually have a filter here, which is only run this automation if the deal is in the lead in stage. So I can add conditions here to make sure uh, my automation is only running in certain situations. Um, so yeah, I'm just saying if it's a new deal in lead in, I want this to run. And then I can say in my action, send an email with a template. I'll actually, I'll set that up from scratch just to show you how I do that. I'm going to choose the email action and I'm going to choose send email with template. Up here, I can choose who I want this to go to. So I could say, right, I want this to go to the deal contact person. So whoever the contact is of the deal, that's obviously who I want it to go to. I can specify my template. So I want to do the new inquiry template. And the person this is going to is, yeah, again, the deal contact person. And then here, I might want to choose to add more fields here, the things I might want to customize. I do want to link my email to the deal. Uh, I want to use my signature and enable some tracking as well. Uh, maybe I do have the option as well. I could CC certain people as well. So I can turn on all these different fields. Uh, so now that I've done that, I could say, right, I do want to use my signature. I want to include open tracking and click tracking. And so that's it. I've just set up my action. Um, I'm going to cancel that because I've already done this. And so there's my automation ready to go. So to see that in action, let's just do a quick test. I'm going to add a new deal. I'm going to send this to myself, Paul Miners, and it's going into the lead in stage, like we said, because that was one of our conditions. And I click save. If I then have a look at this uh, deal, you can see actually an, an activity has been created because that was actually another one of the uh, actions in my automation and the email should have sent uh, as well. I can go and check my inbox or if I wait a minute or two, the email will actually appear here. There we go. Here you can see um, the email has been sent. So hi, Paul, thank you for your inquiry. And you can see this little um, eyelet here shows that the email has already been opened as well. So that's the third way we can manage email in Pipedrive is using automation. And the fourth and final option I want to look at is using a third party email provider, something like MailChimp or ActiveCampaign. And a situation where you might want to do this is, like I said before, if you're emailing a large group of people, maybe thousands of people, or if there's leads that you've lost or they've gone cold and you want to put them onto some kind of newsletter list, Putting them somewhere like MailChimp can be a great way to do that. So you can send them like a monthly email uh, to keep them kind of somewhat engaged until they're ready to purchase. And a way that I've done that is by using Zapier. So Zapier is a great third party automation tool. I have a whole separate series of videos about Zapier if you want to learn about this tool. It works in a very similar way to Pipedrive's own automation. So I have a trigger event here. So my trigger is when a deal matches a filter. And in this case, it's all lost deals. So any lost deals, that's a filter that I have, is going to trigger this particular automation. I then have um, a lookup table here because what I'm doing is I want to put the deal into a particular group on my MailChimp list because I really want to customize the emails that I'm sending. So in this case, it's looking at the deal type. It's looking at the ID for my deal type. That's actually a field that I have here. You can see deal type. I have a drop down. So it's taking the ID and it's then mapping that ID to a um, to a group here in MailChimp. Again, I do have a separate video if you want to learn about how to use uh, formatter tables like this in Zapier. And then finally, what will happen is this subscriber will get added to MailChimp. So I have uh, said create a new subscriber and I can then pull in information from my deal. So in this case, it's pulling in Paul's, uh, you know, the, the, the email address of the contact. Um, and I've actually put them into a custom group as well because I know what type of deal it is. I'm putting them into a group so I can really customize the content that they're going to. And so now this contact is going to end up on my newsletter list uh, that can slowly just build over time. And if I have a few thousand people on there, I can then send out my newsletter. I could even set up an automation sequence so that when people go onto that list, or group, they could even start getting dripped a, um, an, uh, an automation campaign where they get an email once a week or something like that. 
So as you can see, there's lots of different options when it comes to sending emails within Pipedrive. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video.